these young people are getting summertime lessons in sports. All summer I haven't really been working out as much as I should be and coach would probably be disappointed in that. So I came to work on my fundamentals and get back in the groove of things before school starts. This is summer hoops at Sam Houston Middle School. We're hosting a uh, basketball camp for the uh, kids that are students in, Ur in urban schools. And this is Summer Kicks at Irving School Stadium. We are holding a kicks tournament. It's a summer camp that we've been holding for seven years now. For four weeks, kids can get off the couch and enjoy free play during the summer, all courtesy of the Irving Police Department. Uh, we know a lot of kids in this era, they uh, get on social media all day or they may play video games, sit on the couch. We wanted them to lead more of an active lifestyle. That's one reason Raheem Rogers dropped off his two sons at the kicks camp. Also, soccer is their favorite sport and my oldest is entering high school, so I think this would be a good way for him to brush up on his skills before school starts. That opportunity to develop their skills in the free program draws in a lot of these young people. To get better. So we can learn how to play basketball and learn the basics. And for the rest of them. It's just the thing that I do when I have free time. We work on ball handling, we work on shooting drills, layups, passing, just the fundamentals. Do relays against each other, the winners get excited and the losers will have them maybe do a couple push-ups, nothing too much, you know, maybe five to ten push-ups, a little competition. There's more to it than winning or losing, and the Irving Police are teaching the campers just that, valuable lessons behind the sport. It teaches them teamwork, how to work well with others, have a positive attitude, and try to win together, not just the individual, you know, accolades that people get, but also winning as a team. Good, good, good. Playing with the team is fun and making new plays. And what does team mean to you? Working together, not arguing. People that work together to score a goal. Teamwork is like you trust people, um, you're reliable. I see a lot of teamwork going on. I see a lot of camaraderie between the kids and the police, which is actually a good thing. School resource officers lead these camps. That means the students will see these same officers patrolling their hallways when classes resume. It's more of a positive interaction with them. They don't always want to see us in a uniform. So now that we're in the same kind of gear that they're in, it makes us more approachable for them. They come up and talk to us about different things that's going on in their life. And then when we see them, and I may be in uniform, they may be more apt to come talk to me. And we wanted the uh, kids to be able to see us police officers in a different light. You know, none of us are in our uniforms and see that, you know, we're regular people as well. Wrapping up the first week of camp, these campers are very appreciative of their officers for hosting the Hoops and Kicks summer program. Thank you for putting this camp together and making everybody have fun. Thank you for giving us something to do besides sitting at home. I think it's really special that they're helping these kids, taking time off from their work and helping them play basketball. They're doing a good job and helping the kids in the community from not doing bad stuff. They are developing skills in sports and building positive relationships with police officers. Amshi Stephenson for City Source.